What is psychology? This will be a question that many of you will be familiar with, particularly those who have studied A-level psychology. But for those who haven't studied A-level psychology, it's one of the most common questions that you'll see start off an introductory textbook in psychology. But why do we ask this question as the starting place for investigating psychology? Why don't we ask questions from a historical perspective? What is it about psychology that makes psychology today? Or why is psychology the way it is today? Conceptually, what is it about the sub subject matter of psychology that makes it psychology? My name is Gareth, and I'm going to be your tutor for conceptual and historical issues in psychology. And this video is really just going to give you a very brief overview of what to expect um, and what not to expect for the course. So I think the first thing you need to expect is that um, the tone of the course will be um, set at one where I'd like you to think a little bit more critically about the subject matter of psychology and the thing that you've come to study, the academic discipline of psychology. So what I'd like you to think about is um, how psychology is potentially constructed by us, society, through our cultural and social activities. So it's not going to be just about key dates, figures, um, or classic studies. What I'd like you to really start thinking about is how psychology is intrinsically uh, linked with, um, with us in society. What I don't want you to expect is a clear answer um, about psychology and where it came from, when it started. Um, I think you'll start to realize very quickly that there is no one definitive story or narrative about um, psychology's history. I think that um, if I were to replace myself with a historian um, who specializes in psychology's history or, or uh, history of science, or a psychologist who specializes in the history of psychology, I think you would get uh, multiple different uh, stories or histories of psychology. History in general is very complex and um, I'm just going to be skirting around some of the core debates and issues in, in this topic of, of psychology. So I expect you to um, pick up on some of these subtleties through your own um, uh, reading, your own um, research that you'll do for your assessments. Um, another thing that you'll be doing throughout the course is forming groups. Towards the later stages of the module, you'll be forming um, discussion groups, debate groups, um, and you'll be uh, engaging in presentations. These are requirements for the course towards um, to demonstrate your uh, kind of uh, demonstrate your knowledge of the subject matter, but also it's an opportunity for you to really develop your transferable skills, namely communication and written communication skills. So these are things that I think will also put you in a better um, position when you go to study at level two and level three of the course. So what I'd like you to do um, after you've watched this video is really start to think about um, who you'd like to work with in your course. Also familiarize yourself with the Blackboard layout. I'm sure most of you have had done your orientation now for Blackboard through semester one um, for your other modules. And so um, you'll be familiar with the setup of Blackboard. So each week um, I'll post um, videos about what you're going to study uh, and what I expect for you to um, engage in before the class. So I'll leave it at that and I hope you enjoy the course and I will see you in the next video.